What's up YouTube, Time Itself here. In this video, we're going to take a look at Heist, one of the new game modes in Battlefield Hardline, how the game mode works, and some basic strategies. The criminals are trying to get away with the loot. The cops are trying to use up all of the criminals' respawn tickets. When the game first starts, the criminals need to break into the secure location or locations. This usually means drilling a safe or using explosives to open up a hole in a wall or roof. The exact methods the criminals use to break in can vary by map. Also, how many times they need to break in. For example, downtown has two armored trucks that need to be broken into, one for each package, whereas Bank Job has three possible routes into the bank vault. To initiate a break-in, look directly at the break-in spot, stand still, and hold the action button. The little circle will start to fill. It takes six whole seconds to activate, but once you've started the process, you can look around, aim down sights, fire your gun. Just as long as you don't release that action key, it will keep filling. Use this to your advantage so you don't get shot in the back while you're trying to initiate a break-in. As a cop, you can deactivate drills and explosive detonators. Do so if at all possible. Typically, the explosives are already armed before the first shots are fired in a game. It takes a whole 30 seconds for the drills to finish their jobs or the explosives to finally go off. So if the cops can keep the location secure, it will be significantly easier to defend. There are at least three possible drop-off points on every map. When the criminals first pick up a package, two of those will be randomly activated. When the package enters the larger pickup area, the helicopter is called and takes 10 seconds to arrive on the scene. At which point, a criminal only needs to pick up the package and walk onto the red X. No interaction is necessary with the helicopter. Just walk onto the point, and that's it. A single helicopter can only carry one package, however, and once a drop-off point has been used, it becomes inactive. So, the second package has to go to a different location, where the same procedure is used to call the helicopter and drop off the package. Criminals automatically pick up the packages when they walk by them and drop them on their death. There's no other way to drop the package. The only way the cops can directly interact with the package is through recovery. If the package is on the ground and the cops are in a rather generous capture area, they can work on recovering the package to the original location. This typically takes around 20 seconds, but the more cops, the faster it goes. Cops can recover packages through walls and multiple floors of buildings. But if a criminal picks up the package, even just briefly, the timer will be reset. If a package that called the pickup helicopter is recovered, the helicopter will fly away and the drop-off point will become inactive and another one chosen at random. What trips up a lot of new players seems to be how fast the focal point of the action shifts in Heist. One minute you're fighting over a package recovery, the next it's back to the vault, then it's to a drop-off point, maybe not the same drop-off point the package had been headed to in the first place. And if there are two packages in play, it can get pretty crazy. Let's talk about some basic strategies for Heist. As the criminals, when there are two packages and two drop-off points still in play, it's usually a better idea to push for the more difficult of the two first. This way, you'll be working on the more difficult of the drop-off points when the cops are forced to divide their attention between two packages and two points. If you just use up the easy one first, then you'll have all the cops at the more difficult point. Even if you don't successfully deliver the package at the more difficult point, if you manage to call the helicopter, a new point will be chosen, and hopefully it'll be easier. As a cop, it's good to recognize when you should cut your losses and stop trying to defend the first package and work on defending the second one. As a package carrier, you are marked on both the HUD and minimap, making you a prime target for pre-firing as you come around corners. It's probably a better idea to let one of your teammates lead the way and catch the enemies off guard. Many times, Heist will turn into an entrenched battle between the two teams, either at the package spawn location or the drop-off location. Typically, when you run into a whole bunch of enemies in the same small location, area of effect weapons are the best choice. In Hardline, that means frag grenades, incendiary grenades, gas grenades, flashbangs, and uh, in some cases, smoke might get the job done. Oh, and the Mechanic's 40mm grenade launcher? Yeah, that might help a little bit too. Or just a good, solid flanking maneuver to really clear those troublesome enemies out. It'll also help put on more pressure if your teammates can keep spawning in close to the action. Make sure to keep someone in your squad alive so the rest of your squad can spawn on them. Or, as a mechanic, put out a sat phone as a spawn beacon. Both sides have vehicles that can serve as a mobile spawn point. Their icon has a little arrow on it. Get those close to the action, but not so close to where they're going to get blown up easily. Of course, the criminal's preferred method of dealing with those entrenched battles is to not have to fight them in the first place. That means getting to the drop-off point before the cops are ready which is just a fancy way of saying, use a getaway car, dummy. 
Of course, the counter to that is the cops being ready to intercept the vehicles before they can get where they're going. I personally like breaching charges on the road. Of course, you could take this as far as blowing up every vehicle you see, but then in the event the criminals manage to get the package into a vehicle, you might not find one to get you to the drop-off point in order to contest it. Once the criminals are down to one package left to deliver, law enforcement tends to split up between the package spawn and the one drop-off point remaining. However, if the package spends a long time in transit, a lot of the cops at the package spawn will leave to try and go find something more interesting to do. The criminals could potentially put the package right back in play after law enforcement returns it, but if law enforcement is already right at the drop-off point, things are still going to be difficult. Inexperienced law enforcement officers might be willing to put themselves further away from the drop-off point than the package spawn just in order to pick up some points for returning the package. In other words, get the coppers away by running to the ass end of the map and making them all chase you, respawn without the package, pick it up from the vault, and then drop it off because all the cops are uh, way off in the wrong direction. However, if the cops are smart and the criminals are dumb, the cops won't return the package. Instead, they'll just let the criminals run out there keeping the package as far away from anything interesting as possible uh, while they kill the criminals over and over again. Finally, Hardline offers a lot of interesting movement options in the way of zip lines and grappling hooks. Add in the parachutes to that and there are a lot of fun things you can do. You can get really creative here. The basic idea is the same as the getaway car. Get there faster than the cops can. Except instead of being all boring and just driving a vehicle on a road, or maybe even off-road, you're going through the air or straight up the side of a building. But in the end, a lot of heist is just learning the maps. All the entry points for the criminals into the secure locations, and all the drop-off points for the packages, and then everything else on the map. At this point, you have the basics necessary to put up a decent fight in heist. I'm looking forward to seeing what the community comes up with in terms of interesting escape routes for the criminals with the packages, and seeing how fun things can be when coordinating with a proper getaway driver. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Good luck out there on Heist, and I'll see you next time.